All right, Gonna Bro coming out with you another video. This is how to replace your Xbox hard drive if your hard drive is bad. A very common thing that happens with the Xbox is, is you get a either bad my problem I got a bad DVD drive and a bad hard drive, so I had to replace the hard drive. So you buy the adapter, you buy the ribbon cable, which I'll post the links below, and now you need to replace the hard drive. So what you're gonna want to do is you wanna download X Fat Explorer 3.0 beta, get the runtime version, get the 64 bit, download and install this. And then you're not going to know where to get the hard drive. So this actually has a C drive and an E drive on this website. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below. You're going to want to get this C drive and this E drive. I'd recommend getting the apps because it's kind of nice to have the extra apps. And then once you have that, you have your X5 sport and you have this program. You're also going to want to make sure you back up your EEPROM. I can make another video on how to extract that, but if you can back up your EEPROM, it's very important. The EEPROM is how the Xbox's hard drives are locked to the motherboards. So you definitely need your EEPROM. So what you, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to plug in your new hard drive. I'm using an adapter on my computer. You're going to go to the formatting tools. You're going to format your X drive. I've already done this, so I'm, I'm not going to complete this, but I'll show you what to do. I'm just going to hit back. So you're going to look do an original Xbox. It's pretty simple. You just do original Xbox. It will it it probably it's not going to find it because mine's already there. And you do this the Cbros and you hit next next next. Don't do anything additional and it will format. Once it's formatted, I've already formatted this drive. So once it's formatted, it's going to show up as a hard drive. So this is already done. So I have a hard drive set up to be used for the Xbox operating system. So now you want to go ahead and uh, actually mount the hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and unmount it and I'm going to remount it. So load device. Once it's formatted, so you have your E drive, the C drive, X, Y. F drive is where you're going to put your games, all your like ISOs from Xbox. C drive for your C drive, like let's say you do Rocky Five or whatever soft mod you're doing. And then the E drive it even says it's for DLCs and music. You can uh, modify the space when you're making the hard drive. You know you're going to be saving more stuff. I think it's set up pretty well in my opinion as long as you put all your heavy data on your larger hard drive, like all the games and whatnot. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you want to mount your C drive. So you want to click on the C drive, click on mount. You're going to continue your trial. I actually recommend buying this. So this is your C drive. So now we go into the thing we downloaded from the Hanzo website. This is your C drive. You don't have to download the C drive. You just grab everything here and you just copy and paste it here. This is, even though it says X, I assure you it's the C drive. So now you have your C drive all set up. So we're, that's all you have to do. We're done with the C drive. So you can just actually close this. And now we'll go back to devices. Go ahead and unmount it because now we need change drives. So we're going to double click, load device again. We're done with the C drive. Now we need to do the E drive. So now we're going to modify the E drive. So we select the E drive. Again, mount the E drive. Continue trial. And now this is the E drive. So now we're going to go back, get our E drive stuff, copy everything over. Boom. Make sure you don't get the main folder. It wants to be just like this in this format. So this will set up your hard drive, your Xbox hard drive, to have a C drive, E drive, and F drive. And when you plug it in, it will boot into like an OEM Xbox. This is if... Let's say you, you lost your, your EEPROM, your hard drive was bad, you can't back up your original hard drive. I ran into this issue, and I had to figure this out. Not, there wasn't any good videos on how to do this, and it took me a while to figure this out. So I was like, well, I should make a video on how to do this. So this is exactly what I did. So you have what, whatever hard drive you want. I recommend using like a good SATA drive. I'd recommend it even like a terabyte, 500, you know, 500 gigabyte, depending on how much stuff you want to store. This is only 150, but still with the 150 gigs, you could store a lot of games. Like I'll probably be able to fit like 60, 70 Xbox games, depending on what I want to put on it. But right now this is basically putting all the files. This is putting a XMB, you know, for gamers emulation station. It'll, it'll boot up. You can modify the config files as well. Later on, we can, we can go into that if you want to let it boot a certain way. So now your hard drive is basically set up. You can unplug. It. So now what you want to do is go into the, the security tools. This is where before you're actually not done. You have to set the key. So this is why it's really important to have an EEPROM. So you're going to want to load the EEPROM from your Xbox. Also, you probably, I think you have to unmount before you do this. Pretty sure you do. So well, you want to load the EEPROM. So I have the EEPROM file. It won't let you do this while it's mounted. So you're gonna un you are going to want to unmount it. You want to select your... Uh, I don't want to select that drive. Make sure you select the right drive. This is the Maxor. So go ahead and unmount it. Now go to hard drive tools. Make sure you select the correct drive. Don't make a mistake. That I guess you could put an EEPROM to your computer hard drive. Probably won't mess anything up, but I wouldn't recommend it. Make sure you select your correct drive. So that's my system drive and that's my Maxor drive. So now, look, it's, it says disabled, it's not frozen. So what I want to do is I actually want to load my EEPROM. If you notice, I have my EEPROM.bin file here in Xbox tools. So I would do that. So instead of going there, it'll go into my desktop, Xbox tools, 
my EEPROM. That's the easiest way to do it. So I don't have to type this whole long code out. I don't have to use a null card. I mean, if you're doing this, you could, I guess. I also recommend it. You can set a master password. It really doesn't matter. I set a master password. If you plan on doing Asanya, do not check this. So just make, make note of that as well. So now I'm going to select this. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to lock. It's going to lock the hard drive. And now I can go in and plug in. And now it's ready to go. I'm all done. So now I have my, my hard drive all set up with C drive and E drive. And I could go ahead and load all the other drives. So let's say you want to go back 